Hi, I'm Sarah Greco from House Handshake here with Quest Music to show off a few of the ukuleles that Quest has to offer. Uh, most ukuleles fall into one of four standard sizes and tonal ranges. We have the soprano, the concert, tenor, and the baritone. The original ukulele was the soprano, the smallest instrument in the family. It typically has a scale length of about 13 inches and is about 21 inches in overall length, making it an ideal size for smaller kids. This is the Gretsch soprano ukulele. The soprano's bright sound is the one we usually associate with ukes, and some of the manufacturers refer to their soprano models as standard ukuleles. So the next biggest is the concert ukulele. This one is the Acacia and the, Cor the Cordoba, sorry, and the Luna uke, similar with the scale of 15 inches and 23 in overall length. It produces somewhat of a deeper and louder output than the soprano, but it still offers a sound similar to that of the soprano. Two, two different kinds here. So next we have the tenor ukulele, which has a deeper, more resonant sound, resulting from its scale of 17 inches and overall length of 26. It's a roomier fingerboard, which accommodates larger hands more easily. And here we have the Godin, which is a really nice piece. Um, it's the electric acoustic tenor size ukulele, made out of chambered Spanish cedar, and it has a mahogany neck and a rosewood fingerboard. Um, it's not hollowed out in the center here, but you can adjust the sound um, with these little nodules at the top to make it sound um, different when you play it. I'm sure it would sound different if you plugged it in, but acoustically it's got a really pretty sound to it. So here now we have the baritone. With its 19 inch scale length and overall length of 30 inches, this is the Ortega baritone uh, ukulele. The baritone ukulele is capable of a much deeper bass notes than its sim smaller brethren. Um, it's tuned like the four highest strings on a guitar, making it a great second instrument and easy transition for guitarists. Good quality for a reasonable price and it has a good playability as well. It has a deeper tone when you play it. So the most commonly used uh, ukulele tone woods are the koa. This dense tropical wood that's native to Hawaii was the traditional wood of choice for ukuleles and is still among the most popular for its beautiful grain patterns. Also the mahogany. Mahogany generally imparts a darker, warmer, warmer tonality and mahogany is often used for ukulele necks. A spruce, a top choice for guitar makers. Spruce dense grain produces loud and bright tones. The cedar, being softer than spruce, it offers tones that are much more mellow and round. It's a good choice for bringing out the lower notes produced by a tenor and baritone ukulele. And lastly, maple, another wood often used in guitars. It has a dense grain that is sometimes attractively figured. Its hardness lends itself to a ukulele bridges and fretboards. So my favorite happens to be the Godin, um, which is the multi-uke and it's made out of cedar. I'm just going to play a little tune. Oh, why's it got to be? The economy is killing me. In the end, 
choosing the right ukulele is about finding the one that works best for you. A ukulele that's fun to play and to hear. So now that you know more about how ukuleles are built and what materials go into them, let your fingers and ears guide you into the right uke. If you're still not sure what ukulele is right for you, Quest has friendly and knowledgeable staff here that would love to help you try out and get a feel for which one would suit your personality best. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. To view other ukuleles that Quest has to offer, please visit www.questmusicstore.com. Ha, 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 ha.